Hello. So in today's video, we shall be solving a question on ISMM model. That is the equilibrium in commodity market and money market. So we have a question here, which is a question on the ISMM model. So in this question, you have C for consumption and the value, the variable are given as this and you have I for investment the variables are also given you have G for government expenditure it is also given you have T for taxes it is also given and you have ND money demand which is also given and you have the nominal money supply which is N in some question you just see N standing for nominal money supply which is also given as 150 so we are going to solve this video this this question in three parts. The first part is for us to, to derive the IS and LM relations. So, part one, derive the IS and LM relations. IS is the equilibrium in the, in the commodity market or product market, or, and LM is the equilibrium in the money market. So, for IS relation, the the equilibrium condition for the commodity market, which is IS, is given as Y equal to consumption plus government investment plus government expenditure or government spending. So you substitute all the values for C, I, and G as given in the question, which you can see here. So you go to in place of C, you got the value for C. We substitute, which is 100 plus 0 0.8 Y D. That is for C plus I for I, which is government investment. You will have 150 minus C I plus G government expenditure, which is 40. So we have succeeded in substituting the values for C, I, and G. So we simplify it further. You have Y is equal to you add the numbers without alphabet attached to them, which is 100, 150, and 40. So you have 100 plus 150 plus 40. Then plus 0 0.8 YD minus 6 R. We have succeeded in rearranging. We are not doing anything different. So you have 100 plus 150 plus 40, which will give you Y is equal to 290 plus 0 0.8 YD minus 6 R. You recall that YD is disposable income, which is given as Y minus T. So in place of this YD, you are going to substitute YD for Y minus T. You have Y is equal to 290 plus 0 0.8 into Y minus T. Then minus is Ah. Also, this T is given in question as 50. So T is equal to 50. So you have Y is equal to 290 plus 0 0.8 A to Y minus 50. The 50 here is for T. A minus C is R. To remove this from y as 0.8 times this one. So if you do that, you have y is equal to 290 plus 0 0.8 y. The positive times negative is negative. 0 0.8 times 50 is 40 minus 6i. So if you collect like this, so that you have 290 minus 40, you have 2. 90 minus 40 then plus 0 0.8 y minus 6 r 
Then you have y is equal to 290 minus 40 is 250 plus 0 0.8 y minus 6 r. So you collect like this in such a way that you will make y the subject of this formula. So 0 0.8 y we cross is equal to sign to meet y the other side. So you will have y minus 0 0.8 y is equal to 250 minus 6r so the coefficient of y here is 1 so 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2 y is equal to 250 minus 6r so if you want to make y the subject because is relation is given by this formula so you want to make y the subject so that you have something that is similar to what is here. So if you do that, you are going to divide all through by 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 y is equal to 250 minus 6r. Divide here by 0 0.2, divide here by 0 0.2, divide here by 0 0.2. You will have y is equal to 250 divided by 0 0.2, 250 divided by 0 0.2, you have 1,250. Then 6i divided by 0 0.2, you have 30i. Therefore, the IS, IS relation is y equal to 1,250 minus 30i. For ln, Mn relation, which is the equilibrium in the money market, is given as Md is equal to M. All those things have been proven. So Md is given in question. Md is given as 0.2y minus 4i. Take this value and substitute. You have 0.2y minus 4i is equal to this M. M is the money supply, which is money supply is fixed by the central bank. So M is 150. M is 150. So just as we did here, this relation here is for is and it's a subject of y then the relation for for mn the relation for mn is a subject of i you are supposed to make i the subject of this formula this relation so making i the subject of this relation then is a relation for mn so we are going to collect like this we take minus 4i to the right hand side and take this one to the left you will have 0 0.2 y this one is positive crossing this equality sign it will change to negative 150 this is equal to this one is negative 4i crossing to the right hand side it becomes 4i so now this thing can be written as 4i is equal to 0 0.2 y minus 150 so to make i the subject divide both sides by the coefficient of i which is 4 divide this side by 4 divide it by 4 is equal to 0 0.2 y divided by 4 minus 150 divided by 4 so now this 4 we cancel this one you have i is equal to 0 0.2 the approaching 10 minutes 0 0.2 divided by 4 is 0 0.05 i minus 150 divided by 4 is 37.5 therefore the ln relation is i equal to 0 
five y minus thirty seven point five. Thank you so much for watching. Watch out for part two. Okay.